today's topic is prims algorithm to find minimum cost spanning tree let us consider this example graph where we have initialized the key values of all the nodes to infinity except one whose value is kept zero from where we are starting so these are the key values which are assigned to all the nodes so we first include the starting node in the mst this is mst and from here we will see how we can connect the remaining graph to this node so here we can see that the node 1 can be connected through h01 and node 5 can be connected through h05 so we will update the key values of these node with the weight of the edges so this value will be 2 and this value is 4 so out of these nodes 1 and 5 we can see that the key value of node 1 is minimum that is 2 so we will include node 1 in our mst currently we have node 0 and node 1 included in our mst now we have to find out the connectivity of the nodes in mst with the remaining graph so this is the boundary which is separating the remaining graph with the mst so here we can find out that node 1 can be connected to the remaining graph through edge 1 2 and 1 5 and node 0 can be connected to the remaining graph through node 0 5 so we will update the key values of these nodes with the minimum weight of the connecting edges so this key value would be updated by 8 and this would be updated by 3 because the minimum is 3 out of these two so out of these two nodes the minimum key value of node 5 which is 3 so we will include this node in the mst now node 5 is also in the mst so this is the boundary which is separating the mst from the remaining graph now we can reach to the nodes of the remaining graph through 1 2 and 5 4 so we will update the key values of these nodes so the key value of node 2 will be updated to 8 the key value of node 4 will be updated to 2 so out of these two nodes we can see that node 4 is having minimum key value so node so node 4 will be included in the mst we have only two nodes left node 2 and node 3 in the remaining graph so we can connect to remaining graph through 8 4 3 or 4 2 or 1 2 at the minimum weight edge is 4 2 so we will update the weight of node 2 as 1 because the weight of the connecting edge is 4 2 and the key value of node 3 is updated to 12 now out of these two nodes we can see that node 2 is having the minimum key value so we will include the node 2 in the mst now only one node is remaining so this node can be connected to this graph through edge 4 3 or 2 3 so here the minimum weight edge is 2 3 which is 6 so we will update the key value of node 3 that is 6 now we will connect this node 3 to the mst and the cost of this mst would be 14 here we have this particular graph for which we have created this edge sensitivity matrix which has been input through this statement so here we are calling this function prims mst so this is the function which we are calling and we have these arrays parent key and mst set mst set is a boolean array which indicates that a particular node has been included in mst or not and as the nodes will be included in the mst these values would be converted into true this key array will have the key value of each node In initially we have assigned infinite key value to all the nodes except the node 0 from where we are starting and this will store the node which is the parent of the current node for example if we write 3 here it means the parent of node 2 is 3 so let us start executing it so by this for loop we are assigning the key value of each node equal to integer max int max is a macro which can be found in this header file and this is the maximum integer value which can be considered as the infinite so we have stored here int max i have denoted it as infinite but actually in program it is int max 
now mst set is equal to false for all the cells of this array and key 0 is equal to 0 so we have assigned here 0 now we are running this loop for all the nodes and we are calling the function min key and min key function is this and this min key function is running a for loop which is running from small v equal to 0 to small v is less than equal to capital V which is equal to the number of nodes. So MST V is equal to false. This condition is making sure that the node which we are considering is not already in the MST set. So if the corresponding value of V in MST set is false, it means the node has not been included in the MST. And this condition is checking the node with the minimum key value. These two conditions are actually looking for the nodes which are not included in the MST and having the minimum key value. So both conditions are true for node 0 because this is having the minimum value and all other nodes are having infinite value. So after execution of this loop, this function will return the minimum index that is 0 to the calling function and here the value of u will become 0. So we are storing 0 here and MST set of u equal to true. So since this is the only node with the minimum key value, so we will include this node in the MST set and making the corresponding node equal to true. So this true is denoting that node 0 has been included in the MST. So now node 0 will become the starting point and this loop is running for all the nodes where the starting point is u and v is varying from 0 to capital V. First condition in this if statement is making sure that there is an connecting edge from u to v. Because in this graph, if uv is equal to 0, it means there is no connecting edge. For example, for 0, 0, it is 0. For 0, 2, it is 0. It means there is no connecting edge from node 0 to node 2. We are considering here all the v's which are connecting to u. And the second condition is making sure that the node denoted by v is not already part of MST. So if the value of v is 1, so we can see here it is false. It means this condition is true. And the third statement is finding the connecting edge with the minimum weight. So here we are finding how we can connect the node 1 with node 0. Node 0 is u and node 1 is v and the value of v is equal to 1. So node 0 is connected to node 1 and the minimum weight is 2. So we will update these two values equal to the weight of the connecting edge that is 2 and here also we will update this value equal to the weight of the connecting edge that is 4. Now parent of v is equal to u. So current value of v is 1. So the parent of v is u and the current value of u is 0. And similarly the parent of 5 is also 0. So here also we will write 0. Now in the next iteration of the loop it will again find the minimum key value of the remaining node. Now this condition would be true for these two nodes only. Now this function will return the node 1 because this is the node with the minimum key value which is confirmed by this condition and also this condition. So u will become equal to 1 and MST set of u will become true. So now this condition this will also be true. And the key values of node 1 and node 5 will be updated to 2 and 4 respectively. So the key value of node 1 would be updated by 2 and key, key value of node 5 would be 4 now. Now again for u equal to 1 this loop will run and it will find a connecting edge and for the nodes which are not part of MST and the edge with the minimum connecting weight. And if it is less than the key value, we will update the key. And the first condition in the if statement will consider these two nodes because the graph uv will be non-zero only for these two nodes. And it will make sure that these two nodes are not part of MST. Here we are considering the edge weight. This is actually edge weight. And this condition will make sure that the edge weight is less than the key value. So here the key value of 5 is 4 which is greater than the connecting edge. So this condition is also true for node 5. So it will update the parent of v. So parent of v will be u now 
that is parent of 5 will be updated to 1 and key value of v is equal to the connecting as weight so the corresponding weight will also be updated to 3 because graph u v is 3 for 1 5 and when the value of v is equal to 2 so it will update the parent of v equal to 2 so it will update the parent of 2 equal to 1 that is u so parent of 2 will parent of 2 will be equal to 1 and mst set equal to false this condition is also true and graph uv that is the connecting edge weight which is equal to 8 it is less than the infinite key of v is infinite it, it will update the key value equal to 8 now again this loop will run and it will again call the min key and it will find the node with the minimum key value so here the condition would be true both the conditions would be true for node 5 and it will return 5 so now the u will become 5 so the initial node will become 5 now and mst set of 5 will be set to true so this will be set to true now and this loop will run and graph uv if it means there is connecting edge and mst set is false and graph uv is less than key v all these conditions would be true for because we are considering node 5 so all these conditions would be true for node 2 and node 4 so it will run for u equal to 5 and v equal to 0 to all other nodes so these all conditions would be true for node 2 and node 4 so, so for node 2 the value would be updated to 8 and when the value of v is equal to 4 then the value will again be updated to 2 and parent will also be updated to u so here the parent is equal to u for v equal to 4 the parent is equal to 5 and also the key value of node 4 is equal to the as weight that the key value of node 4 is equal to 2 now again the loop will run and this function will return node 4 because these two conditions are true for node 4 only so it will return min index equal to 4 and the 4 will be stored in u and the node 4 will be included in the mst by setting the uth index of mst set equal to true so here in index 4 of mst set will be made equal to true now u is equal to 4 and we will run this loop for the remaining node that is node 2 and node 3 three conditions will update the key value of node 2 equal to the edge weight that is 1 and in the next iteration of the inner loop it will also update the key value of node 3 equal to 2 now again the outer loop will run it will again call the min key function and out of these two key values it will it will return the min index 2 because these two conditions are true for node 2 only so now the value of u will become 2 and mst set of 2 will be assigned true one more thing the parent of 2 will also be updated to 4 now the current value of u is equal to 2 so we have included this node also in the mst now the value of u is equal to 2 and this loop will run for the remaining node that is for 3 only these all three conditions will be true for 3 so here this loop will update the key value of node 3 equal to 6 because all these conditions are true for this node only now the parent of v that is the parent of 3 would be updated to u now the parent of node 3 will be updated to 2 and also the key value of v will be updated to graph of uv that is the edge uv so as uv is 6 now so it would be updated to 6 and in the next iteration of the loop it will call min key node 3 will be the only node for which all these conditions would be true it will return 3 and for u equal to 3 this loop will run and this loop will update the parent of node 3 and mst set of 3 will be set to true and this would be the last iteration of the outer loop so this was the c code for the prims algorithm 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग